You know, life is like a candle. Someone's got a short one, someone's got a long one. And it can burn out at any moment. <laughs> is that bars from a Samuel? Hold on. Drop the tape, the, the novel. <laughs> How y'all doing? It's your boy JC. Welcome back to the channel. Are you elated? We're back with another part of Everlasting Summer. But y'all show support, so I'm here. I'm back once more. You couldn't hit the 10 light go. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. That's why you had to wait a week. Bruh. Don't blame me, bro. You got to hit the goals, bro. But thank you either way for hitting the light goal. And regardless of five likes, that's, that's more than enough. Um, But yeah, we're back with another one. We're still doing Lena's, I guess, good and bad ending. Um, technically speaking, trying to figure out what's going on with that, and then we're gonna continue with the rest. This one's longer than I thought. Um, I thought we were gonna finish it last episode, but you know, I kind of wasted Rose and Joan in that one hoe. I forgot her name, and then some other stuff happened that just prolonged everything. So this part i hope that we get at least a good ending i don't know how long it is gonna be but either way let's get into it also i want to give a massive thanks to vakoda hopefully i didn't butcher that the goat appreciate your comment kind words you also helped me out with the hentai patch which i couldn't figure it out because i tried like there was like a website where it had like an actual hentai like file or something like that and you had to throw it in the comment files but then i realized it didn't work so i was like okay what do i do but shout out to vakoda uh show me how to install it so we're gonna test it out right now all right so we have to go in the settings real quick go to filter management and then apply one of these but i know one of these are the reason why my game looked sepia tone but i don't see it still hold on let me just try one of these let me see if it does anything all right i'm gonna this time it says it's subscribed so now let's try it I swear to god if it's not working whoa okay oh oh whoa 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 Okay, it works. It works. <laughs> I definitely can't show it with new, uh, with the new YouTube policy system now. If y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, uh, I have to see Elisa's. Let me see what she got. Whoa! Oh, hold on, y'all. I was just skimming through real quick. What the heck? Oh, snap! Okay, hold on. They always sexualizing the teachers. I hate it. Oh my. Ah, okay. Okay, I I seen what I needed to see. The hell happened to my game, bro? Why it look like this? All right, why my game like this? Look like this? Why is this looking like this? Did I screw it up? I didn't do nothing, bro. I haven't touched this thing. What the heck? Good morning. Um, this game's glitch. Hold on. I don't know how much time I spent just watching Lena sleeping. It might have been a couple of minutes or it might have been a couple of hours. Finally, she awakened. Good morning. Lena smiled tenderly. Come here. She rose and hugged me. I didn't resist and plopped on down on the bed. Well, at least you don't look half naked. What the heck? Uh, you are so wonderful. She whispered in my ear, kissing my neck. Dang, bro, you horny as hell. Get off of me. My voice hesitated. Want to do it again? Oh, yeah, you are hornball. She asked playfully. Hold on. I moved her away gently. You know, all this is nothing but simple. Uh, when we just met, you seem to be the one person. Then you seem to be another. It's an air. Now I can't understand at all who you really are. And yet, what you did to Elisa. Her again. Lena covered up the blanket and turned away. Didn't you like what we did? Want to do it with her too? Now I won't hold back. Come on, compare us. I'll leave you her. I'll leave you her address. You could tell me who is better, or me, or we can have a threesome. Yeah, we don't know this. This has gotten to range. We don't know this how at this point. She sounded like she wasn't talking to, about me or her. Like she was talking about complete strangers. Oh, there you go again. I sighed. Throughout today, you have realized that the last person I would think about now would be Elisa. Okay, you're right. She turned to me, smiled, and hugged me tightly. Hold on. I still have to understand. Why? Uh, I can't just simply... And yes, I do care. That's why I really need to know who you are, really are. I am just me. She answered in the same languid voice. My brake started to break from all these emotions. I have to calm down somehow. I jumped to my feet and move across to sit on the opposite bed. Fine. Okay, hold on. We getting something? Lena said disappointedly and started to get dressed. 
I'm not asking for much. Just a few answers to my uh, to a few questions. To a few questions? Wait, what? Just a few answers to a few questions. Dude, when are we gonna finish this this game? What is wrong with y'all? Later. It's time to depart. She interrupt me impassively. What? Where are we going? What do you mean? Where? What do you mean, where? Back to the town, of course. But you told me. Well, I might have withheld something. In fact, I persuaded Olga that we still had some extremely uh, urgent matters here. It will come later. What the hell did you do that? How would we get to town then? By bus, of course. There are no buses here. I grinned. What do you mean, no buses? Of course there are. Route 410. I didn't know I, whether I should believe it or not. The situation seemed to be going out of control, but I wouldn't argue. Oh, uh, okay. I managed cautiously. Come on, get packed. Meet me at the square in 10 minutes. Okay. I gave up asking and left the cabin. Uh, frankly speaking, I had nothing, almost nothing to pack. I just tossed my winter clothing into a bag and headed into the square. Head to the square. Lena was already waiting for me there with the gym bag on her shoulder. You don't seem to carry a lot of baggage. It's just enough. She smiled. Let me carry it. Please do. Although her bag seemed almost weightless. A bit of shivery never hurt anyone. Okay, we were locking, walking and Lena constantly telling jokes. Uh, anecdotes. Funny stories. I never stopped laughing. No, I really lost touch with the person next to me. Is she the one I met a week ago or the one I saw for the first time this morning? When we reached the bus stop, I took out my mobile phone and checked the time. Surprisingly, there was some, there was still some power left. It was almost 11 p.m. Isn't it a bit late for buses? Oh, what is that? Lena asked curiously. Oh, just a toy. Take it. It's a gift. Thank you. She smiled and took the phone. Well, can you play on it? You'll work it out yourself later. It's not that hard. Anyway, a mobile phone is totally new useless here. We waited uh, for about a half an hour. And Lena just kept talking and talking. Well, I must admit that I found her stories amusing and I felt comfortable with her. But what about the bus? So what about... I didn't finish this fifth sentence as I saw the glimmer of headlights in the distance. Oh, here it is. She ex Lena exclaimed enthusiastically. The bus slowly carrying us away from Sovyonok Pioneer Camp. I just wanted to believe that we never ever go back. The darkness beyond the window prevented us from seeing the road, the wind, woods, or the fields. Actually, it might be the case that they're all long gone, and we're flying through with a void towards the unknown. Anyway, I couldn't care less for the surroundings. I just kept listening to Lena. Perhaps she had more words today than she had throughout her past life. You know, I interrupted her at last. Still don't understand. What exactly? She smiled. How come you could be so hesitant, so humble at first, unable to string two words together, and then like this? Is it that important? Ah, uh, you know, well, just wondering why you acted different. Maybe it's because that's just how you are, but you know, you don't have to make a big deal about that. Yes, for me it is. Well, she took a deep breath before answering. You see, I've always been the way you saw me the first time we met. I was like that in public. I wasn't able to live as I wanted since childhood. So I put on a mask. She went silent. Although, let's not go too deep into that. Lena laughed and cuddled my arm, pressing her body tightly against me. Okay, I get it. It was probably very hard for her to discuss it indeed. Anyway, I got a lot even from such a short explanation. But still, can I be sure you won't turn into one uh, into that one again? You won't retreat into your shell? Won't or sh surrender to your anger and rage? That depends on you. Lena smiled slightly. It was just now that I realized that I'm playing a high stakes game. On the one hand, I've spent a week in this obscure world trying to find some answers. I have nothing to my name and nowhere to return to. Damn it. On the other hand, there's a girl who's obviously matters so much to me. I didn't. I almost didn't need to think about whether I had any feelings for Lena. I just wanted to be by her side. Look at her. Listen to her voice. I uh, liked her the way she was. I assured myself that this is it. This is it. The real Lena is in front of me. And now, when these thoughts came back about my past life, my mysterious appearance in the 80s pioneer camp, it's just not the time for such thoughts. I feel good right now, being close to her. I don't want to return anywhere. I don't want any answers. 
I don't want to think about what's going to happen tomorrow. If it's up to me, then I just want to believe that you'll always be the way you are now. For this is the way I love you. Then I'll keep being this way as long as we're together. She hugged me even tighter. You gonna explain this sepia tone, bruh? I don't know how long we've been on the road, but Lena's chatter gradually started to quiet down. I don't know how long we've been on the road, but... She put her head on my shoulder, but was still telling me a story about her cat. Getting into sleep medicine. Getting dizzy and wreaking havoc. I slowly started to doze off, my doze off myself. But still, why did you hit Elisa? She looked at me closely with a serious expression on her face. I always hated that bitch. Well, you know, I, I, can, I can really sympathize with that. Lena laughed loudly and nuzzled into my shoulder. I desperately tried not to fall asleep. It's unknown what's waiting there. After the bus's next turn, there might be a new life waiting for me. Or it might be the, this might be the end of the fairy tale. And I'll be burying the coffin and the pain walls and the ceiling of my old apartment. But it was a losing battle. Morpheus summoned legion of monsters, command of fatigue, exhaustion, desolation, and uncertainty. All right, something wrong with my game. Wake up. Consciousness slowly returned to me. It's like I'm falling off a cliff so high that the clouds are drifting nearby. The ground is coming closer, but I'm afraid now that I'll die. All right, what is this? Is this what we saw in the intro? Too bad I can't see it with this color. Open my eyes. You'll sleep through the whole your whole life like that. She looked at me seriously. All right, y'all, we're back, another day. Sorry about that, first and foremost, I was tired. I don't know if y'all could tell, I was so tired. I didn't, I don't know what in my right mind, I don't know why I thought recording at that time was the smartest idea. Also, um, while I took that little break, I figured out what the heck was wrong with my game. And apparently it was a filter effect. Uh, shout out to Reddit user here, post them. This is when Reddit actually prevails, when you actually need help with something. Um, but yeah, this was filter management. And for whatever reason, it was enabled, like some type of weird filter was enabled on it. So that's why it looked like that. But anyway, let's go back to where we left off. All right, so now we can look at this moment in color. Thumbnail time. All right, I looked around. I bench the square Genda, but how? I was on the bus going to the district center. Why are you looking at me as if you've seen a ghost? Why am I still here? For a second, I felt ter terrible fear. Will I ever get out of this place? We were on the bus together. On the bus? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Don't you remember? Lena started thinking. Yesterday. I don't remember anything like that. Maybe you just had a bad dream. Considering that all that has happened already seems like a hallucination. This must be a dream within a dream then. Well, let's take it slowly. I try to think logically. The session ended yesterday. All pioneers left, but we stayed. Then And then we took a bus and headed to the district center. Lena surely looked perplexed. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding anyone. Today is the last day. Wait, so how much time have I spent here? Lena started to count off on her fingers. Looks like seven days, not eight. It's seven, definitely seven. I give an exhausted sigh and cover my hands with my face, with my hands. Well, that's another riddle on the long list of camp mysteries. Well, okay. Though I have a feeling that we won't manage to leave today either. Why? Sixth sense. You're acting a bit strange today. I suppose I have my reasons. Want to tell me? I gaze at her attentively. I do. Sure, why not? When I had a real chance to break free from this camp, everything failed. So what do I have to lose now? Where do I start? Start from the beginning? Yes, of course. Well, I was born. I studied, married, er, well, I haven't gotten married yet. God dang, was that ingrained in you, my boy? You still have time. Yes, but, well, in a few words, like, I'm not from this world. From the look she gave me, she, it was clear she didn't understand me at all. Is she actually going to eventually understand or no? Is that is that a no? I came here accidentally. Even I don't know how. So what does your world look like? Alina asked seriously. It's, well, it's virtually the same. But 20 years ahead of your world. Do you already have a space flight? Well, if it comes to that, you have it as well. However, 
We haven't made any great achievements in that field yet. Sounds interesting. I was unable to tell if Lena was taking me seriously or was just pretending to do so. I used to live in a completely different place as well. Far away to the north, judging from the landscape, in a big city. i never been to the big cities. Maybe that's for the best. Will you show me your house? Seemed like she was taking this conversation as seriously as I was. Well, I'm not even sure if it exists in this world. Oh, come on. Lena pounded. Well, sure. I will. So how did you get here? One evening, I took a bus, Route 410. Woke up here. I don't know anything more than that. The Route 410 route? That's the one stop- That's the one that stops just outside the camp. Yes, but my 410 travels in another place. And time. Are you planning to return? Lena said, and I noticed a, no, a happy unhappiness in her voice. I have no idea how to. And if you knew? You're asking tough questions. What's wrong? Nothing, but... You see, uh, I only just recently started to adjust being here. The first hours in the camp, this camp was such a so shock for me that I don't know. It's okay. You still have time to think about it. Time to think. It seems that even l if Luna believed me, she considers the whole situation a typical inconvenience and nothing more. Anyway, it's not up to me. Possibly even if I want, if I do want to stay. You see, the one who brought me here could take me back as well. I believe that any event in a person's life has a reason. Therefore, you are here for some reason. Maybe. And if you haven't returned, you must be needed here. Well, I can't rule out that interpretation. Hey! Time to pack your stuff! Oh, this is different. The camp leader's voice sounded f from afar. Because we didn't initially see nobody that when they woke up from their sex night. Their one night stand. I don't have time. I don't have much to pack. But I do. So meet you near the bus. Would you like me to help? Thanks. But there's no need. Lena smiled and ran off towards her cabin. This is definitely a different turn. Maybe Lena is the right, the first, the only, like, the main character that we we should care about here. Or maybe she's, like, the the true ending of the game. I remained sitting on the bench trying to cope with the shock. You know, that copium. Uh, my thoughts were still in chaos. One theory replacing another. On one hand, me being unable to get out of this camp isn't at all odd compared to me finding myself here in the first place but what now what am i supposed to do is there any chance that i can leave camp if i try again anyway what's the point in being nervous by now i know perfectly well that absolutely nothing is up to me maybe i just have to sit back and enjoy the ride i couldn't help smiling especially now when i have additional reason not to be in any hurry to leave and that reason is lena maybe she's right and I am here for a reason. For some reason. In the end, even if I can narrow down the possible explanations for my situation to a reasonable minimum, there would still be a thousand and one. And if I keep exhausting myself analyzing them, I'll just go mad. Maybe it's time I make a choice. Maybe this world is not so bad after all. Especially since for the first time in a long time I have something to live for. It's still a vague something. But still, I have it, it exists. And now I have the power not to simply hold it, but to develop it into something bigger. With such thoughts, I stood up and started walking to Olga, Olga's cabin in order to pack up my humble belongings and leave the Sovyonok Pioneer Camp forever. Okay, so despite what happened with the other endings, this one seems like it's going pretty well so far. One may think, it's strange, and that's exactly how it seemed to me. But eventually we reached the district center. I eventually got tired in the bus and fell asleep. Then I woke up. I ran up and down the aisle of the bus, gasping for air. But soon I realized that this long week is over. All the time I spent there seemed like so much longer than seven days. And now everything is over. Soon after that events moved with frightening speed. No time left for self-analysis or seeking answers, quote-unquote. Moreover, from time to time, I completely forgot about the camp. Like anyone who found themselves in a completely strange environment, I was completely lost. I had no papers, not even a simple birth certificate, and no skills to earn a living. Professions such as a computer specialist or call center operator were not in demand. 
Lena returned to her normal life. She had to graduate from school and get ready to enter in university. The Pioneer Camp was in the south of the USSR, just as I'd assume. Lena lived in a town with a population of about 100,000. It was easy to get there by bus from District Center. There was nothing special about the town. One big factory, rows of five-story houses, wooden huts on the outskirts, a grocery store that closed at 7 p.m., and a supermarket. A true Eden for a shopaholic, with choices including rubber sh winter shoes, women's sheep skin coats, and men's musquash hats. Before, I would already be trying to run away from a place like this, but now it was my home. Cases of starvation were rare in the 20th century of uh, century of Europe. I managed to find a job. I was employed as a turner's assistant in a factory and was also given a room in a hostel. What the heck is going on, senor? So you're telling me that this guy got a job from all of this? Is this is this the case? Like this is actually kind of weird. Like, so did he not go back to the bus stop and go home? So instead of going home, he accepted the fate and stayed here and leaving with Lena instead. So did that rewrite the whole game or like the, the way it was it ended? That's interesting. Hold on, let's finish this. So let's see. Colleagues were amazed by talent, persistent. Lena graduated from school, spent her several nights with the calculator, designed but you know, And then last, I made my mind to propose to Lena. I don't remember how it took a lot of time for her to think if she should just assign a marriage project or she protested becoming let down. Uh, thirds of my salary. Thanks to free Soviet equivocation for everyone, or maybe thanks to my wife's persistence, Richard became a part-time student at a polytechnic university. Uh, wow, really? What the hell? A fair proletarian. Proletarian. Uh, it wasn't difficult to study thanks to my knowledge from my last attempt at receiving a higher education. Time passed in the college of state. You could compare a big cot at an avalanche in the mountains. You could compare all you want. We still bury anyway. The factories privatized and then closed down. Um, what the heck? This is very deep in detail. Snip is now like a business entrepreneur. Okay. I'm just trying to save my breath, y'all, because this is a lot of reading. Political rev advisor. Oh my God, y'all had kids now? Now you got to provide for a fit. God dang, bro. This is living Sims life. Time passed slowly. The money was able to fill our stomachs. Must live uh, at work for days. Uh, at least stay home to baby. I remember it was yesterday at midnight. I was sitting in the kitchen in front of my old worn out I uh, 30 386 wildly killing monsters in doom 2 uh, Best want to see badly What the heck what the heck This man has kids now Really so this story, he becomes like a family business entrepreneur, successful man with a freaking wife from this camp that's mysterious. And how he entered was just falling asleep in a damn bus. What? And now he's making books. You know, you old and like successful. If you making books and you got a family and everything and you're an entrepreneur, like, like, yeah, as soon as, as soon as I get a book out, I know I'm freaking retired. I'm, I'm successful somehow. That's interesting. What do you think about? Oh my, oh my god, what the, huh? They did, huh, with what? Oh my god, bro. I opened my eyes and saw Lena. This is a different ending, what the freak? I put a cup, she put a cup of tea on the table near an armchair. Fire would gently crack it in the fireplace. A snowstorm was warring outside. I wrapped myself in a paid blade blanket and looked at Lena. Do you know what day it is? No, what day? Do you remember what I told you back there in the camp? No, no wonder. All these years, I never brought up the topic of mysterious, my mysterious arrival in this world. You remember how I told you that I am not from this world? Lena paused. Well, something like that, yes. So today is the day when many years ago, I got on bus 410 and woke up in that pioneer camp. So it's an anniversary, Lena smiled. Yes, 
Sort of that. Is it a sad celebration for you? No, not at all. And I remember almost nothing about that time. Maybe that's for the best. I added some firewood to the fire and took a mug from the, the table. Maybe I'll write a novel and you will read it and remember. You, do you think that's a good idea? Lena's expression became serious. Indeed, once I promised myself that I would never write about it. Maybe it's not. After it all, everything that happened is just for us. That's exactly what I think. I sighed and looked at the fire. You know, life is like a candle. Someone's got a short one, someone's got a long one. And it can burn out at any moment. Is that bars from a Samuel? Hold on. Drop the tape, the, the novel. Then our life is like a, this fireplace. Yes, perhaps. Okay, hold on. The duo squad on the album then. I looked at her and smiled. I looked and I'll sleep a while longer. Lena kissed me and, and fixed her gaze on the fire in a dreamy manner. My eyes closed and my whole reality compressed itself down to the crackling of the firewood. I started falling, falling slowly somewhere far away. No, it was not a dream. More like warm ether, gently envelop, env enveloping my entire existence. Interesting. Okay. Okay, achievement unlocked, living the dream. The, even this story, every story has a beginning and its end. Every story has its outline, synopsis, contents, key points, a prologue, and a blog. There is no book which, if you read it again, would not reveal new details you didn't notice before. Almost every... Interesting. And that's the ending with Lena, the good one. Holy cow, that's the good one? Yeah, the classic end that couldn't leave the screen. All right, y'all. Um, so, quick thoughts on the good ending of Lena's route. And holy cow, I did not expect that. That completely went 180. So the difference between all the endings, which if you haven't seen it, cue card, all the other endings um, that we've done so far, which we've done the Lisa's endings, and that's pretty much about it. We did the bad ending and Elisa's a uh, good ending. So doing the good ending for Lena uh, marks it off as the next ending that we've done. But the weird thing about it is like everything kind of was the same, similar to what we've seen from Elisa's ending up until the point where it was the last day of the camp and they're about to leave and everybody was still at the camp and they didn't leave without them this time so it was actually pretty interesting and they actually had the choice i guess he had the choice to either go back to where he came from or go where lena came from and she was going to a university school um and then he worked at a factory built his way up became a business entrepreneur and the dude just was successful wrote a book had family and kids and now he's living his life and he's reminiscing back like yeah now nah, we could write a book on that nigga i'm like bro drop an album instead you can be like earl in the uh, fourth season of atlanta you know what i'm saying because <laughs> i ain't gonna know what you're talking about but hey bro you could like hit some clues you know but the weird thing is this is different because in elisa's ending or elisa's route um when you go back and you don't go with uh, elisa or unless i guess you evidently go back to the district center you fall asleep and you wake back into your normal life and then you become like a you know a musician and you somehow in the good ending of elisa's endings you somehow meet her and that's how it kind of ended so it kind of turned out still good when you, with uh, elisa you still get to meet her real life self versus the Sovyonok self, um, I guess. The bad ending is that you don't really get to meet her at all in the real life. And everything in that happened in the camp is just all a dream. So that's making me wonder like, what is the truth of this camp? Like, what is this dream? Is it reality? Is it true? Is there something that's going on that just makes it where you can just change your life path? I don't freaking know, bro. It, it, it's questionable. But uh, that was not bad. I think the only thing I didn't like, if I have to be honest with you, is how they i mean this is how i've just been noticing that they would like put all the text of like pretty much you just have to read all what happened after the the fact that they left to go to the district center and go back to their respective houses towns and where they grew up at came from um it, it's a it's like a it's all right i guess just cramming all the information but you know i guess it just you know it's the ending what else can you expect uh that's just the unfortunate truth there uh but yeah not, that was not bad I, I honestly thought that was probably the best ending maybe i guess i'm assuming the way they set it up made it seem like it was the best ending because you don't go back to your normal lifestyle you leave with lena so it made me think that maybe lena was like the main 
girl because that was a different ending so we're gonna have to see what the other girls i'm very now curious on like the other girls endings and see how that goes but of course we're not done yet y'all we're gonna actually go get lena's bad ending now i'm not too sure if we're gonna get the bad ending in this video um i don't know how long this video is already but we're gonna try our best and we're going to see what's different from the good ending and the bad ending so let's get to it all right so we're going back to this part right here instead of praising her it says that we got to keep silent so let's do that okay it says don't bet with elisa let's see all right so now it says of course lose against lena all right now it says go to the playground which i believe this was the playground all right so this is the same situation we ran into with her um seeing her at the playground all right so this moment right here um says sorry but i made a promise with lena so let's do this all right so then this moment right here says okay i'll come so we gotta do that one all right so then elisa's playing her crappy guitar who cares better be looking for answers okay skipping through all right so this is the moment where we you know remember that magazine that we thought it might look good on lena like a goat, a coat on her will make look good on her. Uh, we have to say, I think you look gorgeous in it. All right, so this is when, uh, what's the Shurik went missing. So we have to go with Lena. So now we're going to find Shurik. And it looks like it's going out the same way that we did initially when we went with uh, Lena. So this is when she presses us after we find Shurik and she's like, did you go alone? And I have to say that I went alone. So we do that. All right, so then this is when we go to that island to pick berries or whatever the freak. And uh, we have to go with Lena. So nothing really changes from these moments that we've already have not seen. All right, so then this is when we go to the hiking trip and Lena and Elisa are arguing. So we have to find out what's going on. And it's pretty much the same thing. All right, day six. You see that angry Lena? We might not get a good ending. All right, so this is when they're at the beach. I think they were trying to look for Lena or something and she wasn't found and then he found her. So this is when uh, we're gonna have to, they're about to get in a fight or Lena's just about to explode. So then she punches her, slams her in the freaking face. And this is when instead of helping Elisa, we have to don't interfere. So I'm gonna save on this part. Do not interfere, but am I a real man? What are you doing? Okay, are you completely out of your mind? Okay, so this is probably generally the same thing. So day seven. Somehow I woke up in my apartment. Okay, this is definitely different. Came to my senses a couple of minutes and I looked at the clock. So we still woke up. Interesting. So is that anything that we're going to get a bad ending? It says 5 p.m. How long have I slept? Okay, how do I begin the conversation? Okay, nobody's here. Lena's not there. Okay. No, it's just that they have left. I'm gonna shout out my skin. Lena was standing next to me. You, you, you can't just sneak up on people like that. Sorry, she said calmly. Session's over. Had some business to take care of in the town, so she went with them. What about you? I stayed. Okay. What's the problem? All right, so it's the same thing, generally. So then they still have sex. It's the next day. It's close to 10 p.m. A time to get up. Gave Lena a nudge on the shoulder. She opened her eyes. Good morning. It's the same thing we just saw. Get up, sleep your head. Okay. August return, is that important to you? Well, we're without food, we're gonna die here. I laughed. You're free to leave then. The bus. Why do you think there's a bus stop for the... Why do you think there's a bus stop for a bus route uh, 410 here? I don't know, bro. I actually don't know. Olga said she had letters. I was gonna resolve here with you. And we come later. What? Okay, so it's kind of generally the same thing. It's just a little bit different because then the next day we went didn't we like go wake up the next day and they were back or something and then then we left however she didn't come in even in half an hour and i started to suspect something so that they, they, they went to go pack my legs ushered me to leave her cabin before i realized it i flung the door open and i saw lena lying on the bed okay Yo, this is different. 
Uh-huh. Everything around her was soaked with blood. With the bed sheets, the blanket, the floor was wet with blood. And I could see a huge slit on Alina's forearm. Oh my god. I ran to her and started shaking her by shoulders. Lena! Lena! Why? She was still conscious. Hi, Simeon. A weak smile frozen on her slip lips. Hey, gone. Hey, don't you pass out. I'll think of something right now. Listen, everything is going to be okay. Fine. You're not going to die. Of course, I didn't believe myself. Lena had slits her veins from her elbow all the way down to her wrist. Jesus. It was a deep cut given all the time I spent waiting for her on the square. She bled out a lot. Probably even an ambience wouldn't do anything by now. And here in the empty camp and away from the world, Lena had zero chance of survival. How stupid can you be? I brinched. I embraced and held her tightly. Tears were running down my cheeks, disappearing in her hair. I never cried so hard in my entire life. Fool, why did you have to cut down the road? Everyone else does it across the street, and you cut down the road. Sorry. It happened as it did. She muttered faintly. But why? Why? I'm tired. So tired. Lena went silent. I looked straight into her eyes. She was still conscious. But the last flicker of our life was quickly dying in her. I'm so tired of it all. Wearing a mask. Suffering. I just wanted to be with you. But you left me too. I never went anywhere. I Here I am. Why? What have you done? I'm sorry. I was struck with tears, unable to say anything. I'm sorry. I'll be seeing you. Later. I embraced her even tighter. Lena's breath was getting weaker and soon it was enough to stop forever. Horror struck, I jumped away from the bed. My eyes, my, my eyes went dark. My heart was beating wildly and I spotted a bloodstained knife lying on the floor. A moment later I was holding it in my hands. The blade halted a hair's breadth away from my wrist. But why? How would that help? I sat there completely freaked out and just stared at Lena. No, you aren't dead. I exploded with a hysterical laugh. Come on, sleepyhead, it's time to wake up. I said softly and shook her by the shoulders. But Lena didn't wake up. What am I? I... What have I done? I jumped out of the cabin in horror and ran like a mad. I don't know how much time passed, but I finally wore myself out and collapsed on the ground. Hostile silence all was all around me. And only the stars looked down on me in a quiet rebuke. These were the same stars that Lena admired yesterday. Yet another crying spell tore me apart. Why did she do it? Because I left her? Where had I gone? I never left her, and I wasn't going to. Only this, at this moment I did I realize she was truly important to me. I realized all despite all her quirks and everything that happened today, everything that happened during the short period of our acquaintance, she suddenly became the most precious thing in my life. And I... I instantly forgot about her. About her feelings. Jesus, Joshua. As I, as soon as I heard about that damn bus. Indeed, I can't justify her act. But how could I have stopped some, stopped thinking of her at all? I lay there for a long time watching the stars. The trees were peaceful, swaying, peacefully swaying in the gentle night breeze above my head. The trees didn't give a damn about what was happening to me. The landscape seemed familiar. Suppressing my tears, I headed back towards the camp. Everything here seemed to be the same as yesterday, just as a few days ago. The square, Ginda's memorial, the cabins of the pioneers, Lena's cabin. I was all torn up inside. It felt like pain would tear my body into millions of pieces, little pieces at any moment now. I fell to my knees and began punching the ground until my fists were completely stained with blood. If only I'd realized just a bit earlier, just a moment earlier, I'm not asking for any, for any for more. She was so, so, even in the slightest hints of her, those hints of was a, enough for her. Only at this moment did I realize that Lena had died and a part of me had died with her. Probably the part of me that what I would call the best. Came to my senses after a while standing in her cabin. The blood had dried up already. The moonlit was no longer reflected in it. I went to her bed and sat down next to Lena's body. I was terribly afraid to be here, but I felt that I had to tell her something. I'm sorry. I started. It's, it's far too late, of course. But if you can hear me out there somewhere, 
Just remember, please, I will love you forever, for the rest of my life. And that was the plain truth. I'm sorry that I ignored your feelings. I'm sorry that I always thought of, but only about myself. I'm sorry for everything. It was me who, who have died, not you. I covered her body with a blanket and slowly left the cabin. I regained consciousness at this bus stop. So, running away, scumbag? I muttered it darkly to myself. I couldn't stand a s to stay a single minute longer in this camp. Lena will never come back. I can't justify what I have done. I'll just wait for the bus that will take me away from here. I didn't give the slightest damn about what's going to happen to me tomorrow. Wait an hour. I don't care about answers. I don't care about how I got here. Soon enough, I saw a glimmer of dim light in the distance. Somehow, I wasn't surprised at all. In any minute, I was sitting in an empty number 410 bus, looking into the dark of the night through a weather-beaten window. My mind was blank. Everything that makes us humans, feelings, emotions, aspirations, suffering, I left it all back there in the Pioneer Camp. Now all I have is this night and the empty bus. There is no more future, no more present. If I died tomorrow, that would only mean yet that not yet another human body had ceased to exist. The real me died there a few hours ago. I don't know how much time passed, but the fatigue took overtook me. I wasn't going to fight it as it made absolutely no difference whether I'm sleeping or awake. I could barely hold my eyes open, and soon enough I'd pass out. God dang, bro. I didn't expect this, brother. We going this route, bruh? Yep, and we wake back up at the freaking apartment. Okay, there it is, bros. As the result of this failure, I was returned to my real world. Her image surfaced in my fevered brain, so clear that I wanted to cry unbearably. Unbearably. No, I wanted to shout, tearing out clamps of my hair, smashing my fists on the wall while making inhuman screams. However, my soul was empty. Dang, bruh. Dang, bro. Now he's blaming himself. Self-preservation instincts overtook guilt for a while, and I staggered to the kitchen to drink a sedative. What are you doing, bro? They can always be found in the cupboard in every antisocial person like me. I, once I'd taken half of the tablets that were in the packet, I returned to the room and turned on the computer. Jesus Christ, bro. Remaining in silence was unbearable. I played the first random song and soon realized it was probably the most depressing piece of music I, I had on my hard drive. However, I didn't want to turn it off. The background noise helped me dampen my thoughts. I had to decide what to do n with my life next. I was sure about one thing, ev that everything in that everything that happened in the camp, my appearance in it, my unexpected return, I didn't care about any of it. And not just that, I didn't care about the context of the reasons for those events either. The only thing that mattered was Lena. I horribly stumbled over the word was, sh indeed, she's gone. Of course, it's possible that it was just a dream and never existed in the first place. But then again, our real world could be just, ju could just be someone's raving delusion as well. Why not? If people suffer from losing their loved ones here, why should I think that, think of Lena's death there as a result of my sick imagination? I saw it with my own eyes. I felt the shock, fear, and fright. Damn it! For me, it's not that it was a reality. It's still, it still it still is reality and is and will be and I'm sure I'm not daydreaming though it would be better if I dreamt dreamt that how the dreadful howls of guitars boomed from the speakers sounded like requiem a requiem for me 
And now I have to live with this sense of guilt? No, I won't take it. My mind wasn't exactly a paragon of stability, but not even a man with a stable mind could withstand shocks like this. And I already feel that I'm going to mad. Try to suppress all these thoughts. No, not for, to forget. Just to forgive myself some rest. Just for a minute. But it didn't work. Pain racked my body again and again. I was already starting to feel it physically. However, physical pain is weaker than mental. I fell to the floor, clasped my knees, and began to rolling, rocking back and forth in the fetal position. Blood pounded my head in my head so heavily that it felt like my skull would shatter at any moment now. I hit a table leg and a little candle rolled out from the under a pile of papers. One little centimeter, one centimeter, one, uh, a little one, 20 centimeters long. It was bent at an almost a 90 degree angle, but it retained its shape. Uh, the wick protruded from one end. Okay. I searched for a lighter and lit up the candle. Let it be a memory of Lena. Maybe in another world she's feeling better than... Damn, bruh. This ending is sad. I sat on the floor and watched. The wax slowly dripped on my fingers. I felt no pain. At all. Probably my nervous system was so exhausted, it was unable to transmit the pain impulses to my brain. The fire called me a little. I just watched the flame. I did not think about anything. You know, in the context of the good ending, this have flame kind of makes sense. Finally, I had some peace of mind. Mm. The candle was a halfway done. I sudden, suddenly I imagined that my life is this very candle. Not just mine, any person's life. All that we have been given from above its is its full length. But anything can happen. The wind may blow, the holding hand may tremble, or the wick may burn. And a life will end before it should have. Uh, but after all, each candle can be different. Such as this one, nine cents. Once twice as thick, 20. And huge ones. And as thick as the handle of a shovel, one, 85. I wonder, did Lena's candle burn out ahead of its time? Or was it just smaller than the other ones? Though I doubt there could be smaller than mine. I rotated the candle in my hands. How interesting I can blow out the flame any moment and that's it but in the meantime life is not in wax you can't combine two candles to make one of medium size i would love to give the remains of mine to lena anyone who needs it more than i do what would i need it i do not feel pain from the heated wax its flame doesn't give me warm it hardly illuminates the room to put it bluntly bluntly a waste of ropes wax and, and, and oxygen I blew out the candle. This action invoked absolutely no emotion to me. I slowly stood up and headed to the bathroom. Dang. What the heck? Cut down the road. Not across the street. So did he kill himself? Everyone else costs, cuts across. But you're going right down. The, the image of Lena appeared before my eyes. She was smiling. We'll definitely meet again. I'm so sorry. Warm water. Shadows and dying dreams have finally brought up, brought me some peace. It really might be that I never actually went to the camp. Or that I never actually came back. But does it really matter now? I almost physically felt Lena's embrace. Everything will be alright. We'll catch the bus together and ride it to the place where nobody will find us. Where we'll be happy together. My strength left me and I started to sink into the water that was already spilling over the edge of the tub. We will surely meet. Forgive me. Interesting. It's down the road, not across the street. Every story has a beginning and end. I wonder if that ending part can say that maybe the story is not done. Yeah. We going out with, in flames? Oh, yeah, they said, yeah, we're going out in flames with this one, Jesus. Oh, thanks for like, 
putting this in the ending credits. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, that was the bad ending. And man, that was a bad ending. That was probably the worst bad ending, at least to date from what I've seen in, from this game. And we've done all these three endings so far, not including the bad ending and of Lena's. It's like, damn, bro. Like, what, what is the other bad endings then? So it seems like, from my predictions, Lena was probably the main girl. Um, the one that he probably, like, maybe the canon, like, the canon ending is Lena's route. You know what I mean? He not getting, falling in love with Lena, um, just kind of really devastated him. Because him not doing anything with Lisa in the bad ending didn't seem like he would go that far. It still seemed like there was like some type of redemption. I guess my question is, dang bro, like where do we go from here? Where the heck do we go from here? I, I guess I'm gonna do Slavia's ending next. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna do next, or you guys can let me know down below, uh, what should I go, what ending should I pursue next? I really hope y'all don't say ugly. I, I want us to leave that hoe for the, I wanna leave her for the streets. I wouldn't mind not knowing her endings. I'm gonna be real. I'm curious on the other endings, cause it, it opened up different sections of the game by just following these certain routes but yeah that's a pretty sad ending that uh if you didn't really get all the right options with lena then you don't you don't get a good ending uh, which i would like to say and i you know hopefully i think they probably disclaimered it in the beginning of the game because i know it's in the rush or whatever well i don't think they did but um suicide's never the option y'all there's just it's no it's never worth it it's not worth it just to put that out there put that in existence and if anyone's struggling with mental health really uh there's a I, I can't i'm not again i'm not a medical professional mental health professionalist i I've, I've recommended this channel before healthy gamer um i definitely recommend him if you want some mental help uh coaching and stuff like that um for free he has a bunch of ton of content and like i said um there's like sites like better help and like obviously the suicide uh, hotline stuff if you guys are really like going through that personally but just man it's just it's it's never worth it man um but i will say that is uh it's 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 real stories that could happen like this you know like when you feel responsible for someone else's actions you know what i mean i don't know i i again i still retain some of the stuff that i said originally when we first got the bad ending with Elisa. There's some of the, the the review from the game that I did on that video. I still retain that here, so I didn't change too much of it. I just felt like it, my main basis, or I guess thesis of like why I said that is I just wanted to get more development with the characters, learn a little bit more about them, and going these routes, we do learn a little bit more, and we see a little bit more development and the connection but i almost felt like this game could have been longer in a way and cut down you know into the port and stuff that would that would really build up a story arc between lena and our main character Semyon, but because you know you can tell a story is really good when you emotionally feel connected with the character um i just didn't feel as strong with these characters at all um so even with these endings i don't think it's going to change how i generally speaking feel about the game but it's gonna definitely gonna tweak some things that maybe there is some more content to be seen um different endings to open a perspective that we didn't know about these characters um but it just doesn't have enough time to really fully develop into something that would really hold my weight to make me remember like dang you know this game was really onto something and like really developed its well developed itself well but i don't hate it and i think the good ending is pretty cool to see that like you know there's a different route than just going back to your apartment and living a different life other than that i was like okay you know this is interesting this is different but i i still generally feel the same i don't know let me know your whole thoughts what do you guys think am i wrong on speaking on that um um yeah and let me know what next should we do what ending should we do and of course Hit the like go, bro. You know, if y'all if hit the five like go, I'll get you another part. If you hit the 10 like go, I'll get your parts out. Quick as a bitch. I promise. 100%. Trust my word on that. Yeah, I'm curious to see the other endings though. But yeah, that's all I gotta say for now. Y'all stay blessed. Let me know as usual down below. And keep your head special. I'm gonna see you when I see you. Peace.